After dropping game one to Alcorn and Biloxi on Friday, JSU's C.J. Newsom was pointing toward a Tiger victory Saturday in game two. Newsom would get things started in the first with a sharp single off the glove of Bray's first baseman, Brandon Barna. After advancing to third, Newsom scores off the base hit by Lacon Wilson. The Tigers added two more runs to take a 3-0 lead after one. Good shot, let go! Well, we just wanted to start off slow because the first couple games, man, it was rough. We just had to get in and get a couple hits, start off easy, that's all. Alcorn responded by pushing across a pair of runs in the second and third innings, but the Braves were never able to take the lead. The Tigers scored in every inning, including three or more in the first four. JSU hammered Alcorn pitching with 20 hits through only seven innings, as Newsom would go four for four on the day. Tigers pitcher Jordan Bowden tossed a complete game, giving up five hits and four earned runs, and JSU earned a split with the Braves by beating Alcorn 16 to four. Congratulations, man. Uh, you won a complete game. Just talk about how well you pitched today. Uh, I started off pretty good. Need to be better with two outs. It was a team effort, but I tightened it up after the third inning, I think, and then we kept rolling from there, and I'm just happy to be a part of this team, and I just thank for the opportunity. Well, Jordan, he, he's been pitching really well the last couple weeks, but him him putting up a zero and getting us a good start right there, you know, it, it, it created the momentum and it carried over the offense. But him being able to finish the game, it, it makes us that much deeper tomorrow um, for game three. In Sunday's game three, Jackson State came out with plenty of confidence, but it was all corn that was all smiles early as the Braves took a 4 nothing lead after two innings. Steven Vidal helped the Tigers rally for five unanswered runs over the next two innings to give the Tigers a 5-4 lead. C.J. Newsom drove in four runs and came within inches from sending this one out of Braddy Field. The Tigers would score six more runs over the next four innings to take the weekend series over the Braves with the 11-6 win. How tough is it in the swipe right now? Uh, it's all right right now. It's not as good as it used to be last year. We just got to get in, get in, prepare. We just come prepare, that's all. Anything else like that? Hey, we just get the game. You know? We just get the W, you know what I mean? The JSU softball team appeared ready to even their series with Prairie View. After falling behind 2-0, Jackson State's Denisha Knight ripped a two-run homer to center field to tie the game. Tell me about this team. I mean, uh, it seems like you guys have a lot of talent out here. Uh, yes, we, we're pretty young, but I feel like our young players can grow and they're capable of being the best they can be. However, the Lady Panthers broke the tie by scoring nine runs in the sixth for an 11-3 win. The Lady Panthers completed the doubleheader sweep with a 7-1 win in game two. At the JSU Softball Complex, I'm Rob J, JSU TV.